Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is time to build Drake Scumbo the Dino. So let's get cracking. Friends, if you haven't seen this, it is an adorable little dino. Prince is a keychain. It is fast, fun, and there's a lot of room for you to modify it as well. The first thing we need to do is find the capsule. It is over here on the design starters. When you bring it out, it is already the right size. We're going to use it also for the legs. Do control D and I want you to hold down shift and shrink this and type the number 11 for how big a leg is. Now we want the height to be 28. So after you change that size, just change the height. And then we are going to cut off half of this. We're going to do that by moving it across, bringing out a whole cube. And when you bring out the whole cube, we're just going to change it to 14 high and press enter because remember we had 28. Now if we take this and do control G or group and then D for drop, we have got the leg. Turn on your five millimeter nudge, do control D, and I'm gonna go that way, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna take those two and I'm gonna make them a group. And then friends, we're gonna select all of that, group, select, we want the big capsule to be the boss, and we're gonna do center and center. Friends, there is the body of our dino. How fun was that? Friends, it's time to make our mouth. This is pretty slick. Bring out a half sphere, bring out a whole cube. Take the whole cube and make it 10 instead of 20. Right now the half sphere is 20 by 20. So if we grab those both, we can now choose a line. I like to look at it from a corner. Let's make the pink one a boss. And we wanna do front and we wanna do middle and then we will do group to cut that off. So this is gonna be our mouth. We do need to flip it. When you hit this button, we wanna flip it up and down and you can see that is the mouth shape. We're gonna make a couple modifications. I need you to make it 15 and I need you to make it seven and I need you to make it a hole. That's gonna be the shape of our mouth. Right now we need to grab them both choose a line, make the white one the boss, and choose center, choose front edge, and we want to choose the top. And then let's switch to the five millimeter nudge and do control down one, two times. We're going to then rotate this backwards about 15 degrees. I'll let you be a little bit flexible on this. You do need to make sure it's coming all the way out so we can just click on it and use the arrow key and move it one millimeter. Make sure you switch to your one millimeter nudge to get it so it is ready to cut out. When you're happy, bring that out one more, I think. When you're happy, select them and group them. Bam, we have got a happy mouth on Gumpo the Dino. Alrighty friends, it is time for the eyeballs. Bring out a sphere. Hold shift, stretch it to crazyville, and friends, we are typing five and pressing enter. That's how big the eyeball is. Now the eyeball needs the cut in hole. We're gonna do that with a cylinder. Make sure you push the sides all the way to the max. Hold shift and stretch it to crazyville. And then the number that we're gonna type here is 1.96. This is what I'm finding works best for my printers for when we stick filament in the eye holes. I want this to be six millimeters thick, I want you to grab these two and I want you to choose a line. I'm gonna make the blue one the master. Once again, I love seeing this from an angle. You can hit F to fit view so you get a better view. And we're gonna do center and center. I'm gonna do control down to push this back in. And then I'm gonna group it up here on the dyno so that way it cuts into the head as well. So let's grab it. Let's rotate it 90 degrees and let's move these two pieces over to our dyno. Let's do it with the five millimeter nudge. So I'm gonna do nudge, 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 back, 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 control up, and get it where I think it looks cool. When I'm at this spot, I'm gonna go back to my one millimeter nudge, and I'm gonna just do control down to find the exact spot I wanna put that eye. Don't forget you can use fit view to zoom in. You do need to make sure it's connected. I need to go back one, and then I want these kitty wampus a little. So I turned them like that. And while they're still selected, I turned them like this. I think that's going to be cute. If you misclick, don't forget you can hold shift 
and click on the two pieces again so that you can move them again. Now notice Drake had his pushed in even further. I'm going to do that with mine too until I find the exact spot. You can also use your half and smaller nudges too. When you're happy, when you're happy, I'm going to shift click these again. I'm going to do control D and I'm just going to nudge to the other side. And then what's super cool is to just click mirror and flip them. I'm going to quickly hide this so I can grab these super easy. And I'm going to do control down two clicks and then show to bring them back. Now, friends, before we group this, we've got so many parts that are good. I'm going to ungroup everything because it's not a good idea to have groups of groups. So now that I've got all my parts the way I want, I'm going to take this chunk and I'm going to do control G and group it as one piece. You'll notice that groups pretty darn fast. If you try and do the groups of groups, you'll notice that it slows down a ton. Friends, it's time to add the cool little arms and the parts on top. We're going to do that with the paraboloid. Bring it out, hold down shift, stretch to crazyville, and we're going to do size 5. We need to take those two parts, so I'm going to do a line, and I'm going to align with the top, the middle, and the middle. You'll see that it's barely poking out. If you can't grab it, you'll have to hide your little dude, so I'm going to hide him. And now I can click on it. I'm going to do control up. And when I do show all, it's easy to see. And you want to make sure it's connected just like that. Let's do control D. I'm going to move it back with the arrow keys. And I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. And then it's just nudge it back. Nudge it down with control down to get it to the right spot. When you're happy, if you do control D, it actually memorizes that nudge and moves it down. Now I don't want the next one to rotate, so I'm just gonna do control D and control down to get it where I want. I'm also gonna take these and I'm gonna push them in, so control just a little bit so that it looks a little different. Now this is a cool thing about this design because of their slope shape. It'll actually print pretty high quality because it's got somewhere to build on. I'm going to do control down to get my alignment right where I want. And friends, it's time to move to the tail. Once again, we are going to make the tail with the paraboloid. We're going to stretch it to crazyville, but this time we're going to type 12 and press enter. We are going to lift this longer so that it's going to hit the ground. And then let's flip it so it's upside down. Let's rotate it 45 degrees. All right, friends, let's line that up so we've got those two shapes selected. We're going to do a line, we're going to make the dino the master, and we're going to choose middle. And let's see what happens if we choose middle. It still pokes out, which is great. I'm going to hit D to drop, and then I'm going to slide it back. Make sure you pull it out the back, and we want to cut it off so that it's easier to print. We need to cut that off so it's easier to print. We can do that by bringing out a cube, and I'm going to tell you I want it 2 millimeters thick. We're just going to bring it back so it's touching the tail area, and then we're going to group those two pieces. Now that our tail's going to be flat, we can hit D to drop. Friends, it's time to cut the hole. Check out how slick this is. We're going to go down to shape generators and find the pipe. We want to make a hole that's size 5, so just make your outer pipe width 5. The wall thickness of 3 is fine. Make it a hole, and let's make this 2, enter, and to enter it'll take a second for it to finish changing but that's going to be what we cut our hole with we're going to use mirror to flip it this way and then we need to stand it up simply grab this corner remember it's easier to do this from an angle and we want to rotate it 90 degrees if you stay in the circle it's super easy we can now click on this do shift click on our tail and let's do a line with the tail being the boss and let's see what happens if we do middle and middle. Notice that's a little too far in, so I'm going to just pull it out. And that is a pretty sweet spot to put the keychain hole. Just make sure it's centered. You could also, if you click on your tail, you might want to pull it out a couple clicks. But then notice you need to push this up, control up a couple clicks as well. Just in case you messed anything up, let's do one last align. If you look here, mine was already aligned, but that's how you double check it. And let's group it and check out our fantastic 
Gumpo the Dino. Alrighty, friends. Gumpo the Dino is close to done. Couple things we need to add arms, and also I like the way Drake had the eyes better. This also helps us with speediness. We're going to ungroup everything we've done. I'm going to take these eyes. Remember, we can shift click, so I went blue, then whole. And I'm going to do control down twice, and I'm going to do over twice. And then I'm going to go back once, too, so that it sinks in. I'm going to click on the other one, hold down shift, same thing, control down. And I ended up going once, over, and back. I'm going to leave those, and then we need arms. So I'm going to click on this headpiece, do Control D. I'm going to do Shift so it moves over, and Shift arrow again so you can see it's going to land right here, and I'm going to hit D to drop. Now that I've got him down here, let's do F for Fit View, and I'm going to rotate him 90 degrees. So he's poking out, and then I'm also going to rotate him 45 degrees. Now I can use my arrow keys to nudge him into place. When I get them where I want, I'm going to start doing control up. And then we do have to make sure we stick them in to the body. So you can see there mine is sticking in. Now I can do F to fit view. And then I can customize that with little fine tune uh, clicks. I like that for arm number one. I'm going to do control D and I'm going to shift nudge to get it across. I'm going to flip it. And I'll look at this from a corner so I can see it better. I want to flip it that way. Do my F to fit view. Let's right click so we can see better. And now I can just use normal nudges to get it so that it connects to the body the same as his other arm. I'm going to quickly double check that I've got the middle all still centered. So notice I'm only touching those middle pieces, doing a line, and I want to make the center the center. And then everything else I kept aligned. And now we can group it. One last time as we make our adorable Gumpo the 3D printable dino. Once again created by 6th grader Drake. How cool is that? I'm going to really quickly make him one of the greens. And friends, there you have a fun 3D printable dino. Friends, there's tons of room for you to mod this and make it more awesome. I do want to remind you that the sizes need to stay the same, especially for things like the filament in the eyes, because they do fit a certain need. If you make a cool version and you want to share it with me, don't forget, it's so easy. Click this button, generate a link, copy the link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options aren't available, don't forget you can also visit HLModTech.com. It is my website. There's a Tinkercad tab with tons of awesome lessons and the very cool built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, fill in your information, and shoot it to me almost instantly. Also, friends, if you're in my class and you do make a mod, don't forget, in order to get your 3D printed, you simply click on Export. We choose STL, and then you always need to find My STL Folder. If you followed my earlier steps, you'll go to Quick Access, find the STL, and, instead of, and then make sure that you have your initials after your cool little dyno. You can also add a color, and if I have it available, I'll try Make sure you always add your initials so I know what I'm printing. And you can also add a color so if I have it available, I'll try and match the color you're wishing for. Finally, friends, I need to end by saying thank you so much, Drake, for such a creative design and taking time to share it with us. Dude, your skills are awesome and your creations are fantastic. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.